My name's Jacob Strickling, and I'm the creator and the developer of the Tiny Science Lab. I've been a science teacher for over 25 years, and two years ago, I started um, teaching or homeschooling my two youngest children. Now, my youngest daughter was in high school, and I wanted her to have the same, if not better, science experience as her counterparts at school. And so, obviously I didn't have any equipment um, that schools had available, and so I had a look at some chemistry kits and that sort of thing, um, but I was quite disappointed what was available. And so, I actually saw um, someone holding up a small little conical flask on Instagram, and I thought, oh, wow, that's cute. And so I started doing a whole bunch of research, and I was able to pull together and manufacture a few things. And so I was able to put together these chemistry sets. And not only was I able to teach my daughter, but I also had 12 other students come to my place who were being homeschooled and we did chemistry with them. Now let me put on my safety goggles because I'm gonna show you quite a dangerous demonstration that even teachers at schools are reluctant to do. Um, but this is a demonstration that I get 12 13 year olds to do in one little room. So I've got a conical flask here, it's boiling away, steam's coming out, and I'm going to invert it into this um, 10 mil beaker. Now watch carefully, watch carefully, here we go. Whoa, look at that. The water is pushed up. The water is pushed up into that conical flask. Now an absolute classic, an absolute classic experiment in high school is to separate a sand salt mixture. So I've got a, a sand salt mixture here. And so let me put that into a, a beaker like that. And I'll add a little bit of water to dissolve it. So a little, little bit of water to dissolve it. Now, the salt will dissolve quicker if I warm it up. So there's no problems at all. I can warm that up, give it a little bit of a stir to dissolve that salt. Um, so that salt is now dissolving in that mixture of sand, water, salt. And I need to do some filtration. So I've got a little um, filter paper here and, oh, and a uh, little glass funnel. All the equipment, all the equipment is high quality. It's all, it's all, it's, it's all glass. It's all, it's all, all it's, it's, it's the same. It's the same, just a little bit smaller. It's the same, but smaller. And being smaller means it's safer. So it's, this is, it's being held in the retort stand um, that we developed. And let me put another 10 mil beaker here. And so now I'll just give this the, the final little stir. I can transfer this mixture to the um, glass funnel. And it won't take too long. And look at this, the, the filtrate is coming through nice and clear, nice and clear. And so I can actually set up a classic water bath. So with a water bath, we put a little bit of water uh, in that 10 mil beaker and I'll get that boiling. And then on top of that, what we do is we put the watch glass like so, put the watch glass like that. Now this is salty water that's come through the the sand and mud is being left behind. And so <clears throat> this actually now is going to boil, heat up the bottom of that watch glass, and I can actually transfer the salty water to there. Let me go and catch some of that. So that will take a little bit of time. Let me show you another demonstration while we're waiting <laughs> for that to happen. And so I've got a little piece of magnesium ribbon here. And so let's cut off some of that magnesium ribbon. I can already see that that water bath is already boiling. It just happens so quick. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> not only is it quick, not only is it quick, it's safe as well. Because, well, there's just such a small amount. You know, even if that does tip over, um, the, 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 the hot water, there's only a couple of mils of it. It'll just like spread a little bit out on this, um, on our table and the likelihood of it causing injury is almost zero. Now I've got some uh, magnesium here. 
I'm actually going to put a bit of magnesium in this flame. Kids love doing this. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Now if you're in a, a room that can't have any smoke in it whatsoever, well, you can actually take, you can actually take the entire lab outside. Any time that you want to do an experiment that's a little bit smoky to do in a classroom, just pick it up, take it outside. Hey, well, last year, my eldest son said, Dad, I think what you've come up with is absolutely fantastic. I think you should start a company. I think schools would be very interested in, in this um, product as well. Those of you who are leaders at school will know how expensive it is to set up science labs now. The, the idea is that you can do any science experiment in any room better. <laughs> it's amazing. I've developed this trolley that you can move from room to room. It's got the tables, it's got the chemistry sets, it's got storage, it's got a sink, it's got water under there, it's got, it's got pumps in it, it's got a battery to power it, it collects the waste. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Science, I think science laboratories are gonna become redundant to be perfectly honest. Science <laughs> includes, you know, earth science, physics, biology, and so, We've sourced this um, wonderful microscope. I've been using them with my homeschool kids. They're robust, they're, they're high quality, but very excitingly, very excitingly, they have got their own power supply. So they're battery operated and absolutely wonderful. So you don't actually need to have electricity to run the lights to power your microscopes. You can get fantastic ones just like this. Some of you might be thinking, uh, what about what about like when we do um, reflection and refraction and we've got this uh, light box? Don't don't we need to power it into the wall or something like that? Well, no, no. Uh, I've got a, a Ryobi One battery here, and I've developed a skin. That's right. We've developed our own skin to go onto this. It's as simple as that. It's it's that simple. You click that on, and all of a sudden you've got 12 volts. It, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't look how wonderful this is. You, you, it's like a little you plug in you plug in the leads, plug in the leads, turn it on. There we go. You've got your 12 volt, you've got your 12 volt power like that. And if you're in a room that you can't darken, well the students can actually grab this equipment and take it to a dark room. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. There's a, there's a lot of teachers who don't like electricity, and I can understand why. Often the leads, the leads um, are broken and the things don't work. But imagine, imagine having a set where um, you you can just click, you can just click things together. The beauty of this set is that, well, often these sort of kits will just come with one light globe. Well, in this set you actually get three light globes. So let me let me keep going, click, click, click. And you know, every time there's a click, you can be guaranteed that you're going to get a wonderful, um, oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got a series circuit there with uh, two globes. What happens, what would happen if I added another um, set of uh, batteries in series? What do you think will happen to the brightness of the globes? The, the globes will get, whoa, look at that. Much, much brighter, much, much brighter. <laughs> I know some of you have seen these sets before and would love to use them, but you'll, you say, but the problem is we don't actually have any ammeters or voltmeters to suit these sets. And so we can't take any measurements with them. Well, problem solved. <laughs> I've developed an ammeter and a voltmeter. This ammeter only goes to two amps, so it actually suits the currents are to do with this equipment, and a voltmeter that goes up to 10 volts, and very excitingly, they've actually got the clip connectors to suit this circuit. And so I can actually measure the voltage, I can actually measure the voltage across that light globe there, and I'm guess, I'm thinking it's gonna be one and a half volts. No, I am think it's gonna be half of six, and absolutely right, it's 2.8 volts. And I can actually measure the current flowing through this circuit as well by popping this ammeter in series with the circuit. Look at that, it's actually 0.3 
of an app. Thank you for, thank you for looking at this presentation. Uh, Tiny Science Lab is launching um, September 2021 in Australia, and we are very excited to partner with you to uh, bring about a, a new innovative way to do hands-on science with your students, be it at schools, uh, homeschooling, or distance education. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.